Dashing through the snow and a one horse open sleigh over the fields we go laughing all the way <laughs> Not really um, Good morning, good evening, good afternoon whenever you're watching this Oh yes, and here we go instead of dashing through the snow Turn on the torch, light up the flame, time to melt some glass, my friend. There you are, here I am to explain, to teach, and create again. Okay. Thank you for showing up. And the reason I did that uh, other intro is because it is Christmas morning. Uh, everybody sleeps snuggled in their bed, but because I work the night shift, I'm awake and doing well, plus... Uh, there's always a few orders to fill. I've got several things that I've got to get done um, for family, friends, and whatever. The first one on the list, and it and it um, it would be worth doing, and that's what I'm going to do. Is a Christmas well set of earrings, and it's only going to be the two. <coughs> it's a <coughs> boy. Excuse me. I'm trying to swallow my throat and, uh, or something. You know what it is? I'm just now getting over a cold. Uh, had the very tip of a cold. You know, there's a little bit of a tickle in the throat. Occasional sneezing. Not really any runny nose. So I guess I, whatever it was this year, I had been, uh, uh, been in contact with it before. So it didn't affect me as bad this year. Anyway. These are little earrings with a round ball on the end followed by several chain links so it's a situation where I will make the nice round ball actually two of them about the same size wouldn't hurt followed by of course oh yeah linking them all together with little chains so I'm going to make the round balls about that size. The fun part is making them close to the exact same size, right? It can't be exact, but you can be awful darn close. Right? Right. Here we go, loop to loo By the way, if anybody's interested, uh, get a hold of me, and if you want some nice, and that you know how my animals are, I can make anything into earrings. I don't have the wires, but I've got the talent to do the rest of it. Actually, I could probably get a hold of some wires, if needs be. Surgical stainless steel or the allergy-free stuff. Actually, the company that makes that allergy-free stuff is here in... Um, or at least sells it. It's here in uh, Moorhead City area in North Carolina, which is cool. Okay, one ball. I'm also going to turn this to a light pink. Pink and gold luster. That's done by fuming, and we'll get into that after a little bit. Tweezers when you want them. Fire polish. Now let's try to do that and repeat that one more time. All right? All right. Uh, there we are. Yeah. Probably people think I was crazy to get up in the middle of the night on Christmas and but it's all about Christmas sure you get your Christmas presents out and done. You know, what's better than, you know, Santa Claus working on that bicycle right at the last minute to make sure it's all tweaked up and ready for underneath the tree. Well, beside the tree. How many bicycles fit underneath a tree, right? <laughs> of course, there's the tricycles for the kids. That'd be cool. But anyway. Reminds me of some of the great Christmas the Christmases I have had in the past. 
one year got a camera for Christmas and was able to climb on top of a desk and take a picture of, of the uh, scattered present wrappings all over the floor <laughs> before they got picked up, which was pretty cool. That was before they had digital cameras, before they had digital cameras, mind you. So <laughs> I was lucky that it got developed. <laughs> that was the worst part about di uh, regular photo film cameras. Yeah, you got them, but you got to get them developed. <laughs> now, is that going to be about the same size? <clears throat> Let's check it out. little bit bigger. We'll pull a little bit off and stretch it down again. Just a little bit more. There you go. Now round it in again and it should be about what I want. It would have been fine, I know. Like, who's going to look across each other, you know, for 20 minutes and say, that's not the same size. There we go. And there we go. Let's see what we got here. Let's put a loop on this one. And then we'll work on making them pink. That's a fuming deal. But yeah. You know I've been doing a lot of Fast and Furious. Uh, making all those Christmas ornaments. But uh, you know I had a lot of fun doing that. And I enjoyed the smiles and the thank yous that I got when I gave them to them at times. It, it's it's the it is the spirit of giving. It was a great feeling. Okay, loop number two and Christmas ball number two done. <coughs> Holy cow! Oh, I know what it was. I had some good chocolate. Maybe that's what it is. A little bit of flam in the throat from the chocolate. Good chocolate. Okay, now. We're going to see if we can't fume these babies. And if it doesn't work, you're not going to be watching this. <laughs> First of all, add a little bit of silver. That one's going to flunk go, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to nip that in about a third of that. Or this is some sterling silver wire I had a hold of. I didn't need that much of it. And this is Boro. And I can twist it into some wood rod later. Now the idea is to heat up the glass really nice. Touch it to the silver, and sometimes the first time it's not warm enough, but it does, after about one or two of those coming in contact with it, it does adhere to the rod, okay? Okay. I'm going to take this down. On the oxygen concentrator, you have a valve, and on that valve, it takes the pressure down to practically nothing. I'll bring that up just slightly. Yeah, there we go. Extend that out a little bit. See if we can make this just a little bit of silver pretty first. There we go. 
let's get the other one. Now make them silver first. Because it helps to hear the gold. And this one fumed out really, really well on, on that one. Let's see if it does the same thing again. There we go. That's two. Yeah, I might leave those as so no, let's see what we can do with the gold now. Now the gold is going to be a little bit more different, or a little bit more difficult, is because the gold trim that I usually use to do this with is um, not available at the moment. So I've been using old pieces of fume that got fused together and have gold on them. See there's little chunks of little flecks of gold in there and this is this is gold that was done with a um, you paint it on and fire it in an oven basically okay and then you bathe the fume trim or the trim that you painted and fired in the oven you bathe it just like you did the silver fume and of course it's not coming out so I wanted to okay here's what we're gonna do we're gonna bring it up some more kick it in some more there we go nice sharp see gold requires a little sharper flame to fume than the than the silver figure that out either. I um, might just leave that as is and go try to do a couple more with the gold. Dang it. But the silver fume turned out real good. Maybe I'll see what we can do here. Yeah, we're going to leave those. And go ahead and make another couple big ones. I'm doing nothing but so it's the gold. There we go. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and loop these on the chain. And I'm going to thin out this. And we're going to do another set in a minute or two with the other. But this will work out good too. Now I'm going to thin out these chains for a good reason. I, I, I don't really want heavy-duty complicated ones, but I do want some nice, nice chain. Interconnected links that work out real well, and that will work with the loop system that has been created here. See that? Tweezers. Now you would think, okay, here they are. Tweezers are a very important part when you're putting these together. That you heat, touch, and seal. There we go. Now I'm going to do the same thing over and over for about three or four of them. getting consistency and once it's hooked you now take the tweezers and nip on the edge of that one and seal it over there we 
go. They go really fast once you get the, the knack of it. It's just a matter of, again, heating, stretching, and sealing them together, and also having the right flame. As you can see right now, I have a very, very fine flame going on here. So it, it, and it works out really, really well for what I'm doing. Um, you don't need a sledgehammer sometimes to do a, a very, you know, fine finishing nail hammer. Do it, you know, pound in a finishing nail, let's just put it that way. Stretching that out a little bit further. Again, I, I'm making very thin, very nice little loop de loose. I think I'm going to put one more on that one. And I just finished. Gravity works. Let it work with you when you're doing these. And as you connect them. And you bring up the and hold on to the new loop that you just finished and seal it together. Nice dangly four little loops should do quite nicely. Now let's do the same thing one more time. <coughs> I love making chain. I have a, a few ideas that I have not been able to bring out in my mind yet, but I, I feel like some type of chain mail or, or even an interesting loop design uh, suspending a pendant piece in the middle is going to come out eventually when the time and thing is right, but it has have had not to have happened yet, but it will happen. Unless, of course, I'm in a coal rack, isn't it, Murray? Then all bets are off. Again, you just hook it. Hold it by the loop you just made. And seal it off. Loop it again. That one got a little out of hand. A little bit bigger than the other ones. I might have to redo these. Make the next two a couple of smaller ones. Not a bad dime. It, well, it is and it isn't. I need a little bit more thinner rod. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's thinning it up. Going later to my sister's house for a nice roast dinner, I believe. Around six-ish. That will be fun. Might even go to church this morning and wish Merry Christmas to those that are there for the day. Uh, that last loop compared to the other one. <laughs> well, it's close. I could thin it out a little bit here and there. We'll do that. Make these chain links just a little bit shorter. Uh, this is going to be the fun part to redesign <laughs> basically these loops, but it's it's possible. Making them a little bit shorter, pulling a little bit of glass off. One of them shortened up. Do 
which other ones did I want to do? Oh, the very last one. Shorten that up a little bit. That side's good. Let's do the other side. There we go. You don't want to hold on to these, that's the hard part. I just sort of melted the tweezers, not really strong to the piece of glass, but it got melted in. And here's the cool part. These links are already cool enough. Yeah, about the same size. Oops, that's it, put your fingers through the flint. <laughs> okay, with that, I'm going to give you a better angle on these things so that you can see them. Done and done. There we go. And as always, enjoy your day. <laughs>